So this is going to be an update on Megan and Harry. Let's see how they're doing. They've been out seen donating food and uh, a little bit of a public appearances here and there to kind of uh, brighten up their image, I suppose. But maybe not. They're just doing good. We'll see. Hope you liked the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. I mean, there's even talk that the Queen is going to pay for what are those the commemorative, commemorative uh, Jubilee medals uh, herself uh, to uh, for uh, Harry and Meghan. So you know, I guess it's just the sort of thing a grandmother would do if she's got some famous kids and some kids who aren't so famous. It's not quite the case here, but it's kind of like that. She's got the royals and she's got the I don't want to be royals. So Harry and Meghan walking the line trying to navigate. Talk about having feuding uh, in-laws. This is like that to the max. Good luck. So. The Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann. Wonderful cards. They're very beachy. They're very now. Uh, the container they come in is really nice. It has some nice thoughts inside. And um, the cards themselves and the guidebook, all of this is good. The, um, the guidebook, although it's not in color, it's readable. And uh, it gives some good ideas as to how you might uh, interpret some of these cards. Of course, you know, the interpretation is very personal. So you have to decide if those inter interpretations entirely work for you. But they're based on the Rider Waite system. And you can see that the art goes right to the edge of the cards. They're very colorful. They're very, uh, they just speak to you right away. I mean, you just, even if you didn't know what uh, uh, the symbols of the cards mean, I think anybody could look at some of these cards and think, oh, okay, this is what it means to me. Like I always say, I love to uh, have someone if we're going to do a reading, kind of spread the cards out like this, and then they kind of get into the game. They start looking at the art, and their mind sort of kind of gets into the uh, into the mode of of let's get some truth out here. Let's get some some tarot reading done. So, Light Sears Tarot, really really nice cards. So this really will be just a catch up with uh, Harry and Meghan um, to kind of see where their heads are at right now. Um, you know, they're doing some, um, being a little more visible with some donations and some, of the, as far as their age. But I mean, let's face it, their whole uh, point uh, in this new life is to see uh, how they can help. And so anything they do towards that is, I guess, is going to be taken as, oh, they're just trying to clean up their image. But in fact, I mean, that's the, uh, the mission of their uh, new uh, life, actually. So, but first, let's do this. Let's get just a second of meditation. Okay. Try to set our intentions with that. So Harry and Megan, I think we'll just do a full uh, Celtic cross uh, to see uh, what the cards can tell us about Harry and Megan right now. You know, are they are they? genuine in uh, what they're doing uh, as far as, um, you know, helping the world. And um, I don't know, we'll see what the, what the cards can tell. I'm curious, uh, especially when I learned that the Queen was going to be uh, providing uh, those Jubilee commemorative uh, coins uh, herself, because apparently there's uh, the government or the monarchy does some of it. And, but there's going to be some of that that she's going to pay out of her own pocket, which of course she's fabulously wealthy. Why shouldn't she? So Harry and Megan cards. Give us an update on Harry and Megan. Harry and Megan, give, give us an update. Uh, if you can speak to us about uh, attending the Queen's Jubilee, getting back into the royal family, just their foot in the door, because I honestly, I don't think they want much more than that. So Harry and Megan, what can the cards tell us about those two? Six cards and then four later. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Harry and Megan, what 
can the cards shed light on for those two? Signifier card for Harry and Meghan. Okay, the Emperor. All right, well, that's very good. This is uh, really uh, being in charge. This is the uh, uh, Major Arcana, the fourth stop on the Fool's Journey, the Major Arcana, the fourth card, the fifth card, but actually the fourth stop. And uh, so this is really being in charge of your destiny. Signifier. Seems right. The challenge to that, then, with this Four of Pentacles, is the Four of Pentacles is holding on to your worth. And there you go. She's got those Pentacles in her purse. She's really got them clasped to her chest. And, uh, you know, these Four of Pentacles uh, can be uh, Harry and Meghan and the two children. But it can literally represent their um, their monetary value. Uh, it can also literally uh, represent their uh, etherical value, their value in the world. The base of this reading, then, is King of Wands. Okay, so so far very strong uh, cards. So plans, uh, this is uh, Harry. This is plans uh, and the king comes forth with a great big, uh, I'm in charge of what's happening to me. Makes sense. Past of this reading is the Three of Wands, which is a long-term planning. And this is like Megan to me. Uh, so yeah, so these long-term plans, I mean, after all, uh, Harry hasn't had to navigate the real world um, as far as what's going to happen in his life. And Megan certainly has. She has brought her life to the point that it is now and uh, with effort. And Harry has just lived his life to the point uh, that he met her. So Three of Wands, long-term plannings in the past. Yeah, this, uh, I think, is his wife's influence. The sky of this reading, with this Knight of Swords, again, I, I, I get this card for Harry all the time. This Knight of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law, he's running to jump on that motorbike and continue uh, this uh, this battle. Yep. Yep, that seems exactly, exactly right. And then the final outcome for this first part of this, with this uh, Nine of Pentacles, is again, just being all uh, awash with all the value all around you, ready just to be picked right off the tree. Um, yeah, that's this couple. That's who they are right now. And this uh, certainly, uh, I just really feel like she's very much in the driver's seat of what's happening here. At least equal uh, co-pilots. So let's get four more cards. What's going on for Harry and Meghan right now? More specifically with the royal family. Let's shuffle these up a little bit. Harry and Meghan with the royal family. Let's see how that comes out in these last four cards. Signifier card for Harry and Meghan and the royal family. Seven of Cups, Illusion and Delusion. Sounds exactly right. Cups are compassion, and the Seven of Cups is, uh, you know, just a, a selection to make of that, but you don't know what's under those cups. So when they're dealing with the royal family, there's a huge unknown, but there certainly are lots of choices. <coughs> uh, Six of Pentacles is... Um, doling out the wealth, doling out the value. Okay, as, as it comes to the royal family, yeah, the, the royal family, uh, this is the environment that this uh, illusion is in, is in that doling out of the value by the royal family as they see fit. The hopes and the fears for that, with this ace of wands, this is a great big offer of a plan, contemplation. Get a fire started and make it go. So the hopes and the fears is that this uh, you know, becomes a focused plan. The likely outcome, though, regarding the royal family, with this eight of wands, just there are so many issues. There are so many ways that this thing can go that, um, yeah, the, the plans of the actions are, are the obstacle and the benefit. So looks all good for Harry and Meghan. This royal side is always going to be a challenge. I don't know. I don't think I'd mind having those kind of problems, to tell you the truth. What do you think? I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.